everybody and welcome back to TMC Natural Beauty aka the Mind Catchers channel. My name is Valerie and today we're going to be doing this makeup look using some new foundation from NARS. So if you're interested in how I got this look stay tuned. All right friends we are going to do these brows. My brows have grown quite a lot uh, since uh, the pandemic. I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup, haven't been wanting to and my skin and everything is looking a lot better so I let the brows grow I just trimmed them a little bit to neaten them up today for this video and we're just gonna fill them in a bit okay so what I'm using is my Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil I believe this one is in dark brown you see how little it is I've been using it uh, before I start I'm going to put a little bit of the cover girl this is the mattifying oil free moisturizer 24 hour hydration my first time using it you see it looks like a jelly so anything that's like for oily skin or moisturizer for oily skin I'm all for it because my skin gets pretty greasy very fast so I put it through my brows eyelids everywhere okay so I brush up the brow a little bit Another thing that I like to do for my brows is put a little bit of primer in my brows, eyeshadow primer. Uh, right now I have the uh, eyeshadow primer from Urban Decay. This just came to me in PR. Um, it's just their old formula, but I needed a new one. You should replace these things every year or every six months, something like that. So I appreciate that. So how has everybody been? let me know what you've been up to let me know how often you're wearing makeup now because it's not like this big thing anymore a lot of people are not wearing makeup like they used to so i'm just going to chat with you guys while i fix these brows up for my makeup tutorial today um i kind of give myself more of an arch by pulling the skin up here And when you let the lotion, you know, like dry down and absorb and everything, and then you put the primer on, you can feel that your skin is a little bit more tacky and the pencil works a little bit better. And sometimes you can apply a product that's a little bit too slick, like the um, like silicone based primers is a little too slick for me and I can't get my brows to do anything for me once I apply that so I like this method better as you can see it's just a little filling you look at this brow and look at that one one of my brows is higher than the other. I believe this one is a little higher than that one. I think it's like that. It's either that, it might be this one. But either way, naturally one is higher than the other. You might be the same way. All I'm trying to do is get them as equal as possible. So I'm gonna be adding a little top and bottom to this brow too. And you know, just neatening it up because you wanna look neat. If nothing else is done, let your brows be done. I think it really frames the face brows and some lip gloss that's about it oh and skincare skincare is a must i've been using that um la rose posay i believe that's how you say it i have pictures of the products i've been using i also purchased some for my daughter and it seems to be working pretty well for our skin i haven't had any major breakouts or anything like that um, that time of the month, I usually get about one or two little bumps, but other than that, my skin has been pretty smooth. Okay, so I drew on the brows to kind of match thickness on both sides, and now I'm getting ready to, you know, just neaten them up. I'm using some Nika K. Hey, girl. Haven't used Nika K in a long time. I saw this in the beauty supply store, a large one, because the, the other ones are like this big, so get more cluck for your buck. He was running a little sale so i said let me buy some of this now this is in the shade lion at least that's what it says on the package that's the only thing i can make out i don't know why they would name it lion but that's what i think <laughs> the name is and i'm using an anastasia beverly hills 
um, concealer brush. And, well, let me start with this eye. Because I don't think you're going to be able to see me do this one real well. I'm still pulling here. And when you're doing that part, you might not want to talk so much like myself because you will, I mean, just breathing will cause that line to mess up. So. so that's what the bottom of the brow looks like. Excuse me. Very, very neat. All right, guys. So did that eye. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of the Nika K color on my hand and I'm going to mix it with a deeper shade from CoverGirl. This is in the shade Espresso. And Espresso is a little closer to my own skin tone. So I'm gonna mix the two. Hopefully it creates something very close to my skin tone so that my the top of my brow won't be so bright. I don't want it to be because if it if it's too bright up here you're gonna have to fight so hard to fix it when you put on your uh, foundation. It's gonna look so highlighted up here. And it's kinda close to mine. Feel a little deeper, but it's okay. All right, so let's move on to the face. Uh, for right now, you guys saw me apply the uh, moisturizer, but we're just going to test out two foundations. Well, it's the same foundation, two different colors. It's the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. Looks like that. I talked to you guys about this foundation in a, um, I think it was a haul video. And I purchased it with my own money. I saw so many people talking about it. You see, you can see straight through the bottle. It's a squeeze bottle. And this is called New Caledonia. That's the shade. Uh, it also has the words Deep 2 at the bottom. So New Caledonia Deep 2. And then I have the shade, let's see here. Because I was watching several other beauty bloggers that I like. And you know, you try to find somebody kind of close to your complexion. In MAC, for reference, I use uh, NW47. I believe I'm about NW47. I believe that's what that is over there. And um, it, it's hard trying to find like a exact match, especially if you have hyperpigmentation around the mouth. You see my neck is a little darker than my face, so it's very hard for me. Uh, this one is, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name, but I'll have it here in the video and it's called Deep 3. So I have Deep 2 and Deep 3. So we're just going to put a little bit here on the face and see if I'm happy with either one. So we're gonna put a little bit of Deep 2 on my face and blend it out. I'm just squeezing out a little bit. And when I was in the store, it looked about my shade. But now that I see it here, it's a little bit lighter than me, I think. Uh, it's a little bit lighter. Plus, it's the summertime, so I could have gotten a little darker since I bought this. It's been some months. It's been sitting here. So, let's see. It's not too bad, and the coverage is very nice. That was just a tiny little squirt of foundation. But look at how much it carries. Look how it covers all of that. That is very nice. That's pretty. That is very, very pretty. Now, I can rock with that. It looks like that matches like the central part of my face perfectly. That's Deep 2 New Caledonia. Now the perimeter of my face is darker, around my mouth is darker. I could always color correct, things like that. You guys know the drill. You put a little bit of orange, color correcting. I could do all that, but sometimes you just wanna put on a little something and go. All right, so this is Deep 3, and I'm gonna put it on 
this side of the face. Now I can see a difference in deep two and deep three already. If all else fails, uh, this could be like a foundation and a contour shade, like a very light contour for me, which will be fine because I, I don't want to do anything crazy, especially this summer. So let's see. How are we liking that one? I feel like that's pulling the deeper part of my face. I'm kind of liking this shade better. I like both, but I think I like this one better. What do you guys think? The coverage is excellent. I don't know how it wears yet, but the coverage is excellent. I really like how it covers. It makes your skin look so flawless and it feels so soft over there. It really does. Is it rubbing off on my hand just a little bit? You guys leave down in my comment section which shade you like better. I think I'm gonna go with deep three. I think that I can definitely do the New Caledonia right in the center of the face and then go in with the deep three around the perimeter. That would be, maybe I'll do that today. Let's do that because it's, it's pretty either way. Also, these Sephora wipes, I did a whole video. No, I think my kids did the haul with these. And I absolutely love these wipes. No one told me they were that good. They have them in so many different scents. Uh, this one is in rose. I reapply some of the uh, moisturizer I had on. And so we're going to go ahead and put some primer on. This is the All Nighter Face Primer from Urban Decay. It looks like that, and it's a little push tube here. And you know how much I love the All Nighter Setting Spray. If you tried it, you know it's the business. So we're gonna put New Caledonia on. I'm going to apply kind of centralized on my face. It's very lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy at all. All right, so we see what that looks like. It really brings the face together, makes everything look nice and one tone and like perfection. It's a very nice foundation. It's beautiful. If it lasts out with this primer and everything, I would say that I'm really digging this. Like this is in my top 10. Just from feel alone, this is in my top 10. I would almost say top five. I got to wear it out to let you guys know. I got to wear it outside in this Florida heat to let you guys know. But it's a contender. Okay, so I'm gonna put the deep three. Start underneath here. And I think I might go over it with my brush as well. I find that if I place it sheerly with the uh, beauty blender and then I go back with my brush and kind of blend. I like that look. All right guys, so what do we think with the two foundations kind of mixed on the face? I think it looks nice. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my trusty Sephora brand. This is the uh, gel concealer they have. It's in the shade Devil's Food. I love this. I don't have much of a forehead. I don't have a lot of forehead, so I don't have to go crazy. I'm gonna go under my eyes a bit with some uh, lighter concealer. And this fan in this room is not doing me any justice because it's making everything dry down so quick. It's like I gotta move fast. 
a little bit on my forehead. All right, friends, so I'm gonna go into some of my CoverGirl bronzer. Y'all know this is old school. I don't even think they sell it in this packaging anymore, the Queen Collection. I'm gonna apply some of that on my cheeks. A little bit on my chinny chin chin. I really don't feel like I need powder. Like I feel, I think um, spraying the makeup setting spray at the end would be enough. I don't know. It, it feels like I don't need powder. And I don't want to put on powder and then it gets cracky feeling, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and put on some blush. What is this? Um, it's the CoverGirl blush. It's called So Flushed. Like an orangey. And on top of that, we're gonna use a little bit of this Black Up Cosmetics Sublime Powder. It is excellent for like a little highlight. I'm also going to put some of this in my brow bone when I finish the eye makeup. Alright, I'm going to use some face powder I have here on the desk. This is from Black Radiance. And I'm just going to use that as my um, transition color here on the lid. I'm also gonna pull in a little bit of that, um, what is this, the, the blush that I used. I'm gonna put a little bit of that in the transition area as well. My camera is blinking, let me know my battery is about to die so let me change the battery and bring you all up a little closer so you can see a little bit closer what I've done all right I told you I'm gonna go back into the black up cosmetics palette and apply some of that highlight in my brow bone so there it is and it's very pretty as a brow bone highlight they have lots of different uh, shades in this. This one is uh, number three. I'm sweeping through with that orange blush again. You can see a little bit more sunset going on. And I'm going into the Naked Half Baked palette I just uh, did the swatches for this palette this is from Urban Decay I did it on my Instagram account the mind catcher all right so if you would like to see swatches of this particular palette go ahead and check that out but I'm gonna just use uh, I think a little bit of this coppery shade and let me bend it that way maybe you can see better this coppery shade and this dark brown. These two shades. I do I want to go a little lighter. Let's go a little lighter. Let's use the shade Half Baked. No, no, no. Uh, rocky. There's Rocky right there. Oh. There's Rocky right there. So let's use the shade Rocky and that dark uh, brown. So I'm just going to use my finger and apply Rocky. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of that sublime powder on top of it. I'm going to dip my finger into my sublime powder because 
It's like two different shades. It looks almost champagne-y. I kind of gave it like a um, like rocky kind of. It, it looked a little different in the palette to me. I thought it was going to be more golden, like warm, but it, it looked a bit cool, I guess. I didn't like that. So... I'm just taking that brown shade and going around what I just placed. And I think I'm gonna leave my bottom lash line clean. I don't think I'm gonna put anything down there but mascara. Using that old concealer brush, there's still a little bit of concealer left on there, just using it to clean up that eyeshadow a little bit. All right, so this is from L'Oreal. This is their Voluminous Lash Paradise. I'm going to use this. This is in Blackest Black. So we're going to apply some uh, mascara on the top lashes and the bottom. Even though I'm going to put on a lash, we still want to put some mascara up there so your fake lashes will blend with your real lashes. There's a very nice comb on this. Looks nice. Okay, so let's do the bottom lashes. My top lashes aren't, you know, they're okay. But my bottom lashes are a little bit better. All right, guys, since I have you all nice and up close, I'm going to go ahead and do the lipstick now. Lip liner in the shade Creature. And that's from, um... Uh, ColourPop and it has been a while this probably doesn't even exist on the website anymore you guys know how it goes some things just go in and out and I have not repurchased so All right, so I'm really digging my Dose of Colors uh, lip glosses. This one is in the shade Tough Cookie. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. I think I like it. I think so. Looks pretty good. I'm going to go away and I'm going to apply some of these Ardell Naked Lashes. That's what it looks like. And they are in uh, 421. That's what it says here. Alright, so we're going to apply that and then I'll be back with my completed look. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so this is your completed look and I thank you guys so much for tuning in today. The NARS, uh, what is it called again? The Soft Matte Complete Foundation. It's worth every penny. I believe it was about $40, something like that. I purchased these with my own money. I bought one shade. I looked at it and I said, you know what? Let me go back and get this other shade. So I ended up buying both. I feel like I did not waste my money with either one. I could go either way. Maybe by the end of the summer, I may be uh, the deep three. And right now, I'm like a mix of them both. So... I'm happy about my purchase. Uh, if you've ever tried the foundation, let me know what you think about it. I would love to hear how you're using it, what concealers uh, work best with it. I've, I think this is like my second NARS product. I haven't been using a lot of NARS, <laughs> apparently. I think I have a NARS lipstick or lip gloss somewhere around here, but that's it. So. I think I might just want to try more things from that line. If you have other NARS products that you would like to share with me, please let me know down in the comment section. Uh, my hair is in a braid out. This is my natural hair. And I did, um, uh, did I do the, yeah, I did the wash routine, just a short wash routine. I'll link the video uh, down here in my description box. It was just like uh, 40 seconds, something like that. Just showing you what I did. I dyed my hair and everything. So just showing you what I did. 
And since I cut, my hair is growing like tremendously. I cut about three inches off the last time I blow dried and straightened out my hair. So I'm very pleased. I am very, very pleased with what it looks like now. So that's it. I think that's all to report. Um, I will be doing more videos today. So uh, you're going to see the same shirt again and the same makeup. And I might change shirts for some other videos. But I'm going to try to get as many done as I can while this makeup is on because it's hot. Talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you again for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you love videos like this, please share them with friends that love makeup as much as we do. And I will talk to you next time. Cyber kisses. Bye.